Hey guys, Blue Cooler here. Gonna give you a video. Hey, got you over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. Um, just general space weather data, okay? And um, there's a link. I'll leave a link down below, but you can get to the same link over at the planetxnews.org site, or you can go to this site and put a shortcut on your desktop or whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. I just find it really easy to go over to Planet X News and uh, use those links. But this is a good place to come get a pretty decent amount of information in one spot. Um, this is the KP index. And this is what we have to be watching right now, okay? So when the CME hits us, the, the KP is going to go up. It's just a way to rate the strength of a geomagnetic storm, okay? Or activity is what it says. But um, as you can see right now, we're flatlined. I've heard people out there saying that we're having the storm right now and we're not, okay? It doesn't happen until early tomorrow or late uh, late tomorrow night or early Sunday morning. Okay, that's when it's forecasted to be here. Um, it's easy to calculate that if you know the speed that it's moving, given that we're told that it's 90, the sun's 93 million miles away. But here's that sunspot that has been causing all the issue. Okay, and it, it looks very active right now too. Now I'm going to take you guys over to seeds and let you see that here in a minute. But you got Lasco C3, okay? You got all these charts, but this is the one I want to show you. This is the one that is pretty much pertinent to what we're seeing right now, okay? Um, again, we're not having the storm yet, and this right here kind of proves it, okay? So I'm going to hit the time lapse, and what you're going to see... The Earth is this yellow dot right here on these spirographs. So you're going to see the CME come right through there. All right. There it goes. Boom. Okay. That's when it hits. And it hits right around the 24th. And you can see up here where it spikes. Okay. That's, that's, the, that's the ion density. All right. Or plasma. Whatever you want to call it. Now, down here on the bottom is the velocity the solar wind you can tell that it goes down that's typical okay when the solar winds go down usually the ion density is up and vice versa all right so uh, these are just good places to come to get a bunch of information in one spot but we want to look at the kp is really what we're looking at right now guys so when that thing starts coming up we're going to know all right um the auroras might get uh a little bit more active the northern lights we'll be able to see them smart uh farther south but yeah i wanted to show you guys how to look at that real quick so i'm, I'm just going to take you guys over to um, the seed site and i'm going to show you guys a few things um right now let's just take you over and we'll show you what's going on right now currently um again you can see there's quite a bit of activity coming off of the sun right now as we speak now you're only getting like two hours of data right here because this is the most recent. So I'm going to go the day before, which was yesterday. Okay. And you're going to see a lot more. Okay. You can see how that sunspot is still reacting. And see, the, see that right over here on the left? That's opposite of the side that we just got the earth-facing CME from. Okay, and we also got to keep in mind that sunspot is on the move. It rotates with the sun. So it's it's no longer earth-facing. It's moved past that. So when it blows one off, it's not going to be a direct hit on the earth. Um, now, if we get another sunspot and it does it, then yeah. So, now we've been questioning what's going on and what's causing this. Um, well, I'm just going to jump right in here. I'm going to take you guys over to Sechi. And... I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I've been watching for a while. Uh, I'm going to take you to uh, the HI-1. All right. Um, again, this is the one that we have a two-day lag. We don't get to see information very quick. Okay. Um, which is exactly what's going on. So, so we get to see back to the 20th right now. And we will do that. Okay. Now... Again, guys, um, this is just something we've been watching, okay? Here's, 
this is the 20th okay this was back when that blew off so that is that big CME now what I want you guys to look at is right in here you see this right here now watch this CME go right that direction watch it reach out and touch that stuff whatever's going on there all right you see that okay I want you guys to see that because it's going to come into play here real quick now I'm going to go I'm going to take this back oh let's just go back let's go back 10 days how about that okay this is how long I've been watching this. I noticed this and I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. Um, again, we don't typically see this signatures like this. Now, do you see that little shadow area? Plus this over here. Okay, this is not normal. Alright. What's normal would be this energy real bright just coming out like that. Okay, we wouldn't get a dark spot and then bright again. That's not how this works. Okay. So I've been watching this for a while. That was 10 days ago. That was back on the 10th. I'm going to take you guys back to the 1st of March. Okay. Now, again, why I'm showing you this. All the stuff I just showed you has shifted that direction. That's because I'm going backwards in time. So what I'm saying is that this thing is moving along with the satellite and it's moving that direction. Whatever this is. Okay. Um, and again, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and let you guys see this for your own eyes. Um, you, can, you can just tell something's going on right there. Not to mention, I said, like I said before, you get this shadow over here. And it becomes pretty prevalent in some captures that I've seen. So I start digging in a little bit, start throwing some filters on some stuff. And what I came up with, guys, is, man, <laughs> uh, I just, it's just another proof of what's going on up there. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to show you right now. I'm just going to take you to my screenshots. I think I have them. Nope, that was the recorder. Keep in mind that that, that stuff was, uh, well, I guess I need to go to my tool is, uh, yeah, here it is. Okay. Now I'm going to re refresh your memory here a little bit, guys. Okay. This is the capture that, that Scott made on cactus. Okay. On the right. This is the one that I seen on Lasco C2. Okay, obviously these are the same objects on two different tools. Alright. So, I circled them there. So you can see them a little bit better. Um, I will show you the full-blown um, pick that Scott sent me. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's go back over here. Sorry about this, guys. But yeah. This gives a better look of what Scott Scott showed and caught. Okay. This is the occulter of that. And then this is the object. And obviously, you know, I caught it again. Um, <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, it was, yeah, I couldn't believe I caught it again. Especially that soon. Um, but what I'm saying is, guys, I think this object I'm getting ready to show you is the same one. And I've seen it on Sechi. And so what we'll do, go back to my tool is here, and I will start here. Okay. <laughs> See that? This is Sechi from the 20th. You see that CME I just showed you, right? It's blowing up that direction. Now what makes this so relevant is there is separation here from the energy around it. Okay, and it's emitting its own light. Okay, can you guys see that? So, yeah, you can see clear separation at the bottom there. 
and if you really look at this guys it looks very similar in shape to the one I just showed you from the one Scott caught and the one that I caught um, we'll go on to this I inverted it look at that I mean, it doesn't get much more in your face than that and this is on Sechi HI1 okay <laughs> this is a different tool so again look at that all right I mean I it's an object it's a it's some sort of object there guys I mean there's no way around it I don't think this time especially given the fact that we've seen those on the other tools so I did I did kind of an up down here um, let's, is there any more here? Nope. Okay. I mean, yeah. And that's on the Sechi. So, you know, you guys take that for what it's worth. Um, you know, I, I, I'm of the belief that this is something we really need to pay attention to. Because now, I'm, now I've been able to watch this thing move on Sechi. Okay. Um, I'll take you guys back to my screenshots for a minute because this this is the the pattern I went down. Okay, I can't give you a date on these, but see this. Okay, this is kind of, this is back in January. This one was. Okay, you guys see the the anomaly right here? How it's cut out. You know. So then we go to that. All right, and again right in here. All right. Again, there it is. I zoomed in a little bit, and these are all different days, guys. So we watched it move from right to left, is what I'm saying. So now we've been able to establish some sort of tracking on this thing. Okay, now this is uh, just the day before, I think. Okay, and there it is again. It shows up. This is where I, you know, it's not necessarily as good as that one. But you can still see it's there. And you can see, guys, it's admitting its own light of some sort. Okay? I mean, there, there's the one that i seen. And that's that's the one I uh, dropped the brightness down a little bit. Put a little contrast to show you guys what was up. So. So, you know. <laughs> but, yeah. And we'll go over the CMEs later on in a different video. But, yeah, I mean, guys, look at that. I mean, it, it just... Man. What blew my mind about this one, guys, there was separation there. Okay, if this had bled into whatever, and it was all one color, and that wasn't, you know, you know void right there, I probably wouldn't be talking about this because it i couldn't pinpoint it on anything plus if you go watch the time lapses like i just showed you a minute ago um you can see the cme reacting with it okay so you know but anyway guys um just wanted to bring that to you tonight uh, let's let's go here and th this is that that other uh, tool I'll show you, the CME tracker. Um, I'll, I'll push play here and we'll do it. See it? Okay. Again, the earth is here. Boom. Okay. I want you guys to see that. So, but yeah, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Uh, I'll try to come back with you tomorrow and try to give you another update on what's going on um, on the CME front. I really think we're going to start seeing a little bit more action again. Um, this object is, you know, it moves, but it's not moving extremely fast. So, like some of the other objects we've seen. But, anyway guys, um, let's just take it back to here. And God bless. Yeshua saves and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid. <laughs>